Hi, I'm Matt Play with Pioneer DJ, and I'm excited to be here at Sweetwater to show off the brand new DDJ Flex 10 4 channel performance controller. Let's go. The DDJ Flex 10 is the next evolution in our DDJ line of club style controllers, and it brings both new technology and refinements to DJs who want to perform with all of the latest features DJ software has to offer, all in a portable design. The DDJ Flex 10's versatile design and feature set allow it to cater to multiple styles of DJing, from quick style open format cutting and scratching, to creative style groove building and blending. New features such as track separation, lighting integration, and new mixing tools mark the next generation DDJ workflow, plus DJs will love to know that the DDJ Flex 10 is plug and play with both Rekordbox and Serato. So if you're familiar with the DDJ 1000, you're going to be right at home with the DDJ Flex 10. It's very much a similar design, uh, just enhanced and refined with some new features that really take it to the next level. First is the new glossy design on the mixer section, and then matte finish on the player section helps sort of divide the product into three different sections. You've got your four channel mixing with three band EQ like usual. Uh, you've got your beat effects section that uh, follows our DJM style of beat effects of selecting which channel you're going to apply your effects to, as well as selecting which effect you are applying. And you have a nice little display here to show you which effect you are currently assigning and uh, what your tempo of that effect is. So uh, for instance, I've got it here set to an echo and a three quarter beat. And then the little lights on the channels that show you which channel the effects are assigned to is uh, it's the same design as on our DJM A9. We also have six color effects now on the DDJ Flex 10 with the addition of Crush and Space. And uh, there is also Dub Echo, Pitch, Noise, and Filter. You have a dedicated sampler volume knob, which is really handy for utilizing the sampler on the pad modes. Uh, your headphone controls here, uh, booth control and master control. Uh, you got two mic inputs with two band EQ across both mic inputs and an on off switch with talk over. Similar to previous controllers, you have uh, eight pads on each player and you have four or pad mode buttons with dual functionality so you have access to eight different pad modes quickly. So I have Hot Q, Pad Effects 1, Beat Jump, and Sampler, and then as well as Keyboard, Pad Effects 2, Beat Loop, and Key Shift. And some of these pad modes have multiple pages, so you have a dedicated page left and right button so you can navigate through your Hot Cues quickly and easily. Coinciding with the release of the DDJ Flex 10 is also the release of Record Box 6.7, which introduces a new feature called Track Separation. Track Separation requires no preparation and in real time divides ordinary song files into three parts, drums, vocals, and instruments. The DDJ Flex 10 then gives you hands-on control to manipulate these parts in multiple ways. Plus, these controls also work with Serato stems. So the cool thing about the way the track separation is integrated is it's based on an RGB design. So you have blue assigned to drums, green assigned to vocals, and red assigned to instruments. And you can see that as well here at the top of the unit. So Right here at the top of each player, you have uh, the ability to activate and deactivate each part. So to give a quick demo of what that sounds like, I'm just gonna play a section of a, of a breakdown of a track that has some vocal, and I will try muting out the vocal and soloing the vocal and uh, also soloing the instrument sounds. And, and based on the RGB design, when you have all three parts, red, green, blue, active, the platter lights up white. But let's say if I remove the instruments and the vocals, I'm left with blue. Or if I do only the vocals, 
I will get a green. So that's pretty cool so that people watching you can see at a glance that you are manipulating the different parts of a track. Another cool way that the uh, track separation is implemented on the DDJ Flex 10 is a feature that's called Part ISO. So if I press the shift key and hit the Q button, I now put the EQ uh, in what is called Part Isolation Mode. And instead of functioning like an EQ, I can now control the level of each part independently. So part isolation is really cool so that you can gradually bring in elements of a track if you want. And another cool way that it is implemented is the FX part select here. So you have your standard beat effects that we are used to, but now we can choose which part we want to apply the effect to. So like let's say if I wanted to do a reverb, but I wanted that reverb sound only to be on the vocal, I am able to do that here. Or let's say if on the drums, I wanted to do a roll effect just on the drums. So the effects part select is a really cool feature. Also enhanced on the DDJ Flex 10 is the display that you have inside of the platters here. So if I hold shift and hit the page button, I can cycle between different pages for whatever I want to view on the platter. So for instance, you have the deck info, and then I have waveform view where I can get a stacked waveform uh, of the other track as well. Uh, you have artwork view, which is my favorite because I love to interact with the artwork of music. It reminds me of spinning vinyl. Um, and then you also have a logo view where you can also import your own logo if you want. Another awesome new feature here is a mixing utility called Mix Point Link. And you can think when you have the ability to be mixing up to four different tracks, and now you can divide those tracks into three different parts, drums, vocals, and instruments. That's a lot going on that technology now provides us. So it's nice to be able to automate some of the things in your mix so that you can free your hands to be using some of these new features. And that's what Mix Point Link is all about. Mix Point Link allows you to select your mix out point from your hot cue of the track that you are mixing out of and then choose your mix in point from a hot cue of the track that you are mixing into. And once you set those, it will actually start the next record for you on beat without you having to worry about starting the record yourself. So this frees your hands to continue to be manipulating the stems control or the effects as the mix is starting to begin for you. Let's go. Also new on the DDJ Flex 10 is a dedicated DMX output that's built into the unit. Um, so this is capable of 512 uh, DMX channels and it works with record box lighting. So to get a light show going for your dance floor, it's super easy with this product. You don't need any additional hardware. Um, you can just connect record box performance mode and it will function as a hardware unlock device and it will work with the lighting mode. You simply set up your light 
updates. You choose from the device library built inside of Rekordbox and set what light fixtures you have and assign the channels. And then Rekordbox will just analyze your music and detect the different energy levels and the different sections of the music. It's called a phrase analysis. And it will automatically assign different lighting looks uh, based on the analysis to different sections of the track. So the ad idea is, is all you have to do is analyze your music and you'll get an intelligent light show. And if you want to dive in and really edit things, you can do that. And then anytime you play those tracks in the future, any edits you made will also continue to play. Also updated on the DDJ Flex 10 is the new beat jump buttons. Um, the track search buttons of the past on this unit have been replaced with beat jump buttons. So if you hold the buttons, it will still do the track search like you're used to, but simply tapping the buttons will do a four beat jump backwards or a four beat jump forward. And if you hold shift and press the buttons, it will do a 16 beat jump forward and backwards. So the DDJ Flex 10 does have dual audio interfaces so that two DJs can have their laptops connected at the same time. And because it's compatible with both Rekordbox and Serato, one DJ could be using Serato, the other DJ could be using Rekordbox, and you can freely switch between uh, both computers without the music ever stopping. So on the back of the unit, uh, the USBs have been updated to USB type C. So you have USB type C, A, and B on the back. And then on each channel, you can choose whether you are going to be playing from USB A or USB B. Also on the back, you have four line inputs. And of those four inputs, two of them also can be switched to phono. So if you want to connect uh, two turntables, you can. Uh, you do have balanced XLR outputs, and you have an unbalanced RCA master output as well if you want to connect to your, like your home stereo or something or to a recording device. And you do have two mic inputs. The first mic input is a combo jack, so you can use XLR or quarter inch. The second mic input is a TRS balanced quarter inch jack. And there's also a stereo set of quarter inch booth outputs, as well as the already mentioned DMX output. And to top it off, the DDJ Flex 10 just has the industry standard, club standard design. CDJ and DJM users are going to just be very comfortable on this unit because your looping inputs and out points are exactly in the same location. You have a new dedicated four beat loop button so I can instantly enter a four beat loop and then I can divide those loops in half or double them here. And the browse knob is located in the upper right just like it is on CDJ 3000s. You have the same CDJ platters with the jog feel adjust so I can adjust the tension on the platter to be very stiff or I can adjust the platter to be very light. And your navigation buttons are all in a similar location with the CDJ3000. Color effects, beat effects, the muscle memory when switching between the DDJ Flex 10 and their industry standard club DJ equipment is going to be very fluid. But right here in a portable unit, you have a four channel controller with uh, control over four decks with stem separation, effects, and all the latest features that software has to offer. And that's a nice overview of the DDJ Flex 10. Thank you for watching today. If you have any questions about the DDJ Flex 10, go to sweetwater.com or contact your Sweetwater sales engineer.